anyone that's already following along or joining us, Facebook, Zoom, um, we'll give it another minute or so. I'm going to set up our Instagram live and we'll get going. All right, we'll get after it today. Ready to go. Hello, Patricia. Oh, long time no see. <laughs> How we doing? We doing good. I'm a little terrified. Oh, uh, you'll be fine. Six weeks. You'll knock it out the park, I'm sure. I was thinking, oh, I can just delete him. I can just <laughs> shut him down if he annoys me. Just so pretend I don't even exist? Exactly. Oh, man. <laughs> exactly. I'm going to send this to all my, my friends tonight, so. Oh, that's, that's great. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, so I'm going to mute you, and then I'm going to go ahead and start Instagram, and we'll get started. Right. Have fun. Sam, can you go ahead and mute her? I'm sorry. I can probably do it actually. Yeah, you can mute it on your own. Typically we kind of have somebody helping out set up. But all right, I'll see you soon. All right, let's get this Instagram going. No, I was in the middle of a work call. I don't see Justin, so I'm trying to figure out where he went. I'm here. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, I'm here. 
<laughs> I'm here. Okay. <laughs> All right, Instagram up and running. Okay, cool. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. A few more people I think are supposed to join. We'll see. All right, so welcome everybody. Go ahead and just take a second, get seated. All right, get in a comfortable pos uh, position. Um, welcome back, okay. Uh, Justin Olgerschlager, Director of Movement and Mind Movement. We're back here again with another live workout. Um, live fitness seems to be all the craze now. Um, this is week four for us, okay? So if you followed, been following along um, up until this point, right? Uh, so far, I've been offering two different classes, Core Foundations 1, which is on Thursdays, Core Foundations 2, which is today with a little bit more progressive work, more dynamic movement, more compound movement, all right? A little more strength endurance involved. Um, but up until now, um, hopefully, if you've been following along, some of these movements are starting to really sink in, right? That's the goal, and that's kind of why we've been doing a lot of the similar work that we have been doing each week, giving ourselves an opportunity to learn, explore, and actually get better. A lot of times when we're just going, 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 um, you know, crashing into a wall, breaking down this wall, trying to reach this goal, uh, we lose sight of the integrity and we lose sight of the process, right? We're so goal outcome oriented um, that we lose touch with some of those things that got us there. And, and that's, that's kind of what this is all about. Um, taking this opportunity uh, to really step back and, and evaluate and explore and, and have a little curiosity, right? Um, welcoming change, <laughs> welcoming adaptation. We've been talking a lot about control, okay? Um, embracing the things that I can control, like here, right? My intention, my focus, those are things that I can control. Um, and then letting go and letting some of the things that I can't control just be as is, all right? And, um, and shifting my focus to those things that I do want out of my life, right? We had a great talk today at 12 o'clock. If you can, go check it out on our website. It was awesome. Um, but just continuing on with a lot of these themes that we're discussing every single day, giving you guys tools. Uh, hopefully, you're utilizing those tools to help manage as best you can and grow and learn. Um, and, and that's kind of what we're here to do. So again, we're going to get started here in a second. Um, it's all body weight exercise. Okay, every class that we do, all our instructors are offering body weight uh, classes. Um, all that I ask is that you uh, have some space available, right? You bring your curiosity, you bring your intention, um, and you bring your awareness into what, what it is that we're doing. Um, this is a great time to really tune in. And, uh, and some of the stuff that we do within the class is, is there purposefully to help you do so. Okay, so um, if at any time throughout the class, all right, or any workouts that you're doing, if you feel that there is a moment where you want to drop out, all right, or you want to um, dip out of the movement, or you hear a little creep of doubt in there, of whether or not you can do it or maintain your, your pose or your, your exercise, all right, just see, one, if you can actually hear that. Okay. And then two, all right, challenge yourself to maybe focus on the thing that you do want, that outcome that you do want, um, making it through the whole set, making it through the whole repetition, or just simply try to bring your attention back to your breathing. Um, typically what that'll do is allow you to shift your focus into something, again, you do have control of, and then the body will take care of the rest. All right. So make that our challenge for the class today is just if you notice yourself wandering off or you notice a little bit of doubt just see if you can create that challenge for yourself internally all right just battle through it a little bit but also just bring your attention back into what it is we're doing all right so with that okay we're gonna go ahead and get started all right hopefully um at least i believe all right, a couple of good close friends okay even clients uh past clients current clients are joining us today um good friends are supposed to be here. So, <laughs> you know, shout out to the friends and family and just people that are supporting us. Um, but also, you know, opportunity to reach out and let people know that you appreciate them. Um, so, you know, the boy band, <laughs> the mama squad. All right. That's my group. We've been through a lot together. We've done a lot of workouts together also. So, you know, hopefully they uh, know what to expect, but um, thank you guys for showing up and, and we'll get started. So what I want to do is go ahead and get on your back. All right, we're just gonna do a little bit of presencing, a little bit of awareness building, all right, bringing our attention and intention into the space, into our bodies, into the present moment, all right? And we really wanna just tune into how we're feeling, 
um, and then start to guide our, our focus into uh, what we want to accomplish for the workout, all right? So, gonna get on our backs, okay? I'll show you the front view, all right? I just want you to kind of line up in a neutral position with your feet. Your feet are about hip width apart. Train tracks, we talk about them constantly, all right? Nice straight line, okay? And then from the side, right? I want to make sure that I'm closing off this space, okay, between my lower back and the floor. So why don't you just go ahead and tilt that pelvis, all right? Push the ribs down. Go ahead and get nice and stable in your lumbar spine or your lower back, flush against the ground. So if I was trying to slide my hand in here, you wouldn't be able to let me in, right? So you're closing that space off. The arms, right? Your hands, all I want you to do is put one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest. Okay, keep your feet planted, all right? Think about feeling the ground through your feet, through the back of your body. Head is down, all right? Neck is nice and long. Go ahead and close your eyes and just pay attention to where you're breathing, all right? Where in the body is the breath entering, all right? What parts of the body are you utilizing to get the breath out? All right, and we're just kind of inquisitive here. We're curious, all right? There's no structure involved yet. There's no demands, okay? No expectations. You're just kind of paying attention to how you're entering the space, how you're entering this workout. And as you do so, I want you to start creating a little bit more intention, all right? So we're gonna do a little bit of focused breathing. We go four seconds in and four seconds out. If you can, take the breath through the nose. So we're gonna inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose. We'll go ahead and get a couple rounds of this. And as you're breathing, I want you to see if you can start to fill up that space, all right, underneath your lower hand. So that hand that's on the abdomen, on the belly, let's see if we can really expand that space. And then just pay attention to as you take in more air, all right, that air is expanding and rising through the diaphragm into the rib cage, expanding the rib cage in the chest. And then on my exhale, all right, just pay attention to how that breath leaves. Meanwhile, keeping your lower back flat, eyes are still closed. And I'm just visually watching the air enter and exit. Feeling sensation that's traveling through the nose. So the air should feel a little bit cooler as it comes in. And then as you exhale, we should feel maybe a little bit more warmth, all right, as the body warms that air up. Two more rounds, four seconds in, four seconds out, paying attention to all the sensations, but also trying to keep your count. If you feel that you're drifting off or there's something else going on distracting you, again, bring it back into the body, bring it back to your breath. I'm going to spin around here. Okay, so as you continue to breathe, all right, I want you to keep your eyes closed now, okay? Bring the hands down to the sides, all right, and then bring them up to a T position, okay? So your arms are straight out, all right? So from middle finger through the arm across the chest to the other middle finger, nice and long. Hands are flat on the ground, okay? And with your eyes closed, all right, without being able to use your vision, I want you to crawl your feet out. All right, to the outside of your hips, all right? So this is gonna take some awareness here. This is gonna, what we call proprioception, my, my ability to have um, spatial awareness relative to my body and my surrounding, okay? So just knowing where my body is in space, all right? Really, really great way to bring your focus and intention into the moment, okay? So we're just gonna swivel those feet out Outside the hips, I want you to take your feet and pull your toes up to your shin so your heels are down on the ground, okay? And then just ever so slightly, I want you to let the legs collapse to one side. So it's gonna look like a windshield wiper, all right? We're just gonna let the knees fall to the right side and just try to feel where that movement is coming from, all right? How fast am I controlling the tempo? Is it a herky-jerky movement, or am I really trying to pay attention to every piece of the range of motion, each degree? Your shoulders and your hands should stay flat, okay? So they're not moving around, all right? Bring it back to neutral with some kind of intention. So you're driving your lower back down, pulling the knees back to neutral. Let them go ahead and now shift to the other side. Take your head, if you're ready, to go ahead and 
move it in the opposite direction. So my knees are collapsing to the left, my head's moving to the right. Still with the eyes closed if you can. All right, it's really forcing you to focus on the sensations that you may be feeling, cueing yourself. Bring it back to neutral. Let's go ahead and go to the other side again. Now, as you feel your legs drop and get heavy, all right, you may feel some resistance or tension building up in the lower back or the hips, or it may be really challenging to disassociate the lower body from the upper body. If you feel that, I want you to find that spot, that um, spot of tension, okay, the resistance, and go ahead and breathe, all right, recenter your breath and focus on really getting some expansion. On that exhale, see if you can let the weight of the legs just take you further into the stretch. Let's bring it back over to the neutral, another to the other side. Big inhales, big exhales through the nose. See the breath, right? Visually with the eyes closed, okay? So you're inside, really building some intrinsic awareness. All right, last one, let's bring it back to neutral. Okay, take one big breath. And then on the exhale, go ahead and open your eyes, all right? You can loosen up a little bit, shake the arms out, okay? Wiggle around the legs. All right, now we're gonna get back into that same position, all right? Arms are out to the sides, okay? Feet are to the outside of the hips. Your eyes are open now. We're bringing it back into the room, all right? And what I want you to do is go ahead and crawl the left foot back towards the center of the body, all right? Take your right ankle, cross it over the knee, okay? And then just let the legs drop to the right side. So right now, my right leg, the weight of the right leg is carrying the stretch of the lower leg all the way to the ground, if you can. Head is moving in opposition. Take one big breath here. Okay, let's go ahead now. Let the legs drop to the ground if you can, and I want you to bring your left arm over to the right arm. So we're stacking our shoulders now. We rotated our upper body. So from here, I want you to keep the legs as flat as you can on the ground. We still have this crisscross going on. But here, what I'm gonna do is now rotate my torso, T-spine, as far as I can, okay, to the opposite direction without losing that stability in the lower half. I'm gonna inhale, bring it back. Exhale, open up to the ceiling, rotate your head with your torso, trying to keep the hip stable, getting a good stretch down the side of the leg, maybe in your glute, maybe in your lower back. Bring it over one more time. Full rotation. Where it gets sticky, use your breathing. And let's go ahead and bring it back, all right? Now, what I want you to do is go ahead and just uncross the legs, all right? Add some strength and stability into your core. Roll it over. Get back into that neutral position, all right? And let's switch sides. So the right leg comes back towards the middle of the body. Left ankle is crossing over the knee. We're just going to let the legs drop. Big inhale. Exhale, let the legs just sink down to the floor. They might not make it. That's fine, all right? We shouldn't expect ourselves to maybe be as good at something as others, okay? We don't have to compare ourselves or compare um, our quality of movement or our capacity for this particular exercise or any others with somebody else. All right, just paying attention to what your body is allowing you to access this moment. And then use your breath and your intention to get in tune with it and maybe you can intervene. All right, let's go ahead and drop all the way down. We're rotating our upper body now, right hand on top of the left hand, shoulders are stacked. I'm gonna rotate, big inhale. Exhale, open up. I'm rotating through the rib cage. Okay, I'm not just cranking on the back of the shoulder and seeing how far I can reach my arm back. I'm really connecting to the right shoulder blade, pulling my torso open, and then allowing the arm to stay connected to that, that, uh, that rotation, that angle. I bring it back over. Let's go ahead and get one more of these. Exhale. All the way over if you can. Breathe through resistance. Check yourself. Make sure you're staying connected to your breath. And then bring it back. All right, go ahead and unwrap the legs. Let's swing around back to neutral, okay? Now, 
I'm going to give you guys a side view here, especially for Instagram, okay? We're going to go ahead and get the glutes turned on, all right? At least warmed up. We're going to start getting some blood flow going, get our heart rate up, get into more of the meat and potatoes of the workout, all right? So after this, we're going to go through two rounds of another warm-up with a little more intensity. And then for the actual workout itself, we're going to get into two different circuits, okay? So a lot of work to get through here. All right, now, feet are hip width apart, okay? We're going into our glute bridges, all right? So I want to make sure that my feet are in line again with my knees and my hips. Lower back is completely flat. Let's take those arms, make a fist, bring it down to your sides, maybe a 45 degree angle, okay? And then go ahead and just lift the hips up. I want you to keep your feet connected to the floor this time, all right? Sometimes we go to our heels, but I want you to try to feel the floor. We're going to be squatting today, all right? So everything that we do is relevant to squatting, okay? Um, something we've been working on now for a few weeks, all right? So if you're wondering how do I improve my squat or how do I squat well, all right? The series of exercises that we're doing today are just going to help you get better at that, all right? So nice and connected to the floor. Glutes are on. My ribs are crunching down, so I'm building stability in my trunk, and my shoulders are backing down. Now from here, I want you to go ahead and just lift one leg up. You're going to straighten it all the way out. Try to monitor any shifting, my anti-rotation, stability in the posterior chain. Now from here, let's go ahead and see if you can take that right arm, take away some stability, and maybe move it up to the ceiling. If you need it for support, use it. But go ahead and just tease it, maybe. So now I'm really trying hard to connect this left side of my body, upper body, to the lower half, right side. Three breaths here. All right, we'll get one more since we've already been in this position. Go ahead and switch sides now. So left leg comes back down, reestablish that connection, drive the right leg up. Toes can be pointed or pulled, okay? And now other side. Maybe we send the right arm up to the sky, see if we can build that diagonal connection, that rotary stability, but also resisting rotation. All right, let's bring those back down, other side. Here we go. We're going to start our breath, really focus it in. All right, let's go three breaths. Every breath gives you an opportunity to get more engagement. Pay attention to where you're feeling the movement or the strength, the stability come from. All right, let's switch sides, other side. Strong to the bottom. Top arm and leg are up. Feeling some of that heat, all right? Body's starting to really turn on. Put a little coal on the fire. Here we go, back down. Let's do one more, okay? Last round here. All right, left leg, right arm up. If you still feel like you need the support, take it from the bottom. All right, at any time, again, try to challenge yourself to hold the strength, hold the stability. Continue to breathe. Switch it up, last time here, two more big breaths. Exhale, try to get more tension built up, really ramp it up. Last one. Foot back down, go ahead and bring the hips down. All right, and shake it out, okay? Here we go, let's go ahead and relax for a second. Get a sip of water if you need to. We're gonna get into the second component of our warm up. all right? So, gonna add a little more intensity here. All right, start really getting some movement that's relevant to our, uh, our strength exercises that we'll see coming up um, a little bit later. So, we got some work to do. I'm gonna do my best, as always, give you guys cues. I right, coach you through the movement. I want you doing these well. That's the only thing that matters, really, okay? Again, intensity can come later. How long you can do it comes later. But doing it frequently and getting good at some of the basics, okay, that's the longevity of exercise. That's the longevity of movement. Um, that's the longevity of behavior, habit change, okay, which part of this is, right? This is really fundamentally changing a lot of physiology, right, the kinesiology of my movement. So just my particular movement, all right? Posted something the other day from the Foot Collective on Instagram, you know, it said, <laughs> Um, just, you know, paraphrasing here, the, the knee, right? If you have knee pain, it may not be an indicator that there's something wrong with the knee. It just may be that there's lacking quality of movement, okay? So moving well is so important to us, but also 
if you want to do the fun stuff, the athletic stuff, the explosive stuff, all right, the integrity has got to happen first, laying down that foundation, which is what we're doing here. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to get back down on our backs. All right, so we've got four exercises here. We're going to go two rounds through. All right, so as we coach through the first from this dead bug, something we've been practicing now for a few weeks, hopefully we're getting really good at it and you can start to feel some changes occurring. All right, for my veterans out there, you know the dead bug, okay? So what I want you to do is go ahead and get your back completely flat again. Lower back is completely down. All right, we're gonna elevate the feet, tabletop position, okay? So this is my neutral dead bug, right? Let's go ahead and get the arms up. I want you to crunch up out of that position. So lifting your shoulder blades and your upper back and your head off the ground. We're not cramming our neck, we're staying nice and long. We're gonna do some reverse squats, okay? So what we call these reverse squats is because I imagine that the, the, the stability is at the bottom of the feet. Really it's on my back, of course. So my trunk is stable and I'm moving through the legs. All right, so the ankles gotta work, knees gotta work, hips have to work. Upper body's also gonna be moving, but it's all relevant to stable core, stable trunk, all right? So, dead bug is neutral, but let's widen it out a little bit. So find that squat width, okay? Arms are up to the ceiling. We're gonna inhale, reach the arms out, nice and strong, legs out, nice and strong, bring them back together, touch your wrist or your hands to your knees. There's one rep. Try to stay elevated. So we inhale, exhale, pull back with tension. Each rep, I'm trying to get closer to the floor with my lower back. So we say grow roots. Really feel like you're connecting to the bottom of the lower back through the floor, gaining more stability, not letting that lower back come up. If this seems a little challenging, you can lower your upper body and just work your arms and your legs, all right, in a different angle, okay? Find what's working for you. All right, three more. Inhale, exhale, pull them back. Two more. One more, and rest, sweet, okay, first set, all right, now let's flip it over, we're going to go into our quadrupeds, so our hands and our knees, my wrists are stacked right underneath my shoulders as always, I'm corkscrewing my arms so I'm strong and stable in the shoulder, okay, pushing through the palms, we don't want the elbows flaring or bending in the shrug, all right? We really want to get out of that position, have a nice, strong, stable base. Knees are underneath my hips. Toes curled under, all right? First, we're just going to lift up, okay? Holding our beast holds, all right? So we're going to hold for six breaths here today, all right? We've been doing three, four. Now we're going six. So everybody up, knees up. Two. Three, breathe through the nose if you can, if you need to, through the mouth. Take the exhale. Four. Five. Six, and back down. Good, rest for a second. We're gonna get one more of those, okay? Pay attention to if you're shifting your weight too far forward or if you're really trying to avoid using your shoulders or your arms. Find that um, balance of weight distribution. So 50% in my upper body, about 50% in my lower body. Now remember, when I take my knees off the ground, okay, I'm changing my base of support. Six points of contact to four. Automatically, it gets harder, okay? That's the nature of just hovering, all right? So we're changing the base of support so the rest of the body has to communicate and work a little bit more efficiently to help stabilize you, all right? So great core fire, great shoulder fire, all right, it's also something that we'll see a little bit later doing our rocking, okay? So here we go, back up. Also, it's a great opportunity to get the ankles, all right? Get the feet warmed up, okay? Your quads should be activating, all right? The second round we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little bit of change of uh, base again, okay? So three more breaths here. Paying attention to the internal dialogue, all right? Paying attention to what you're feeling. Where's my weight? Check in. One more. And down. Awesome. So now, from this position, okay, if you need to, roll out the wrist a little bit, all right? 
shake it out, bring it back down into that quadruped. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take an inner thigh stretch, okay? You can also get some of your hamstrings here. All right, we just wanna kick one leg straight out to the side. Toes are pointed forward. From here, you could roll the ankle so the foot is flat. You can go here, okay, on the inside of the foot, or you could rotate from the femur, pull the toes to the shins. Notice though, if I'm gonna do this rotation, it's not coming from my lower back or my torso. I gotta stabilize the pelvis, stabilize the core, rotate from the femur, then I'll shift it to my hamstring. All right, so go ahead and get that leg out, okay? And all we're gonna do is take an inhale, exhale, shift the hips back to your back foot, all right? Keep the arms nice and long and corkscrewed, hands are flat, big palms here, tabletop back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale, bring it back. Hold it there for a full breath. On the exhale, try to just sink a little bit deeper into that stretch. Bring it back forward. All right, let's kick the leg back, okay? Shake it out. Back to your neutral position, all right? We're gonna do the other side. I'll give you guys a little bit of a lateral view. Here, all right, kicking that leg out to the side. All right. The ankle is in line with the knee and the hip, all right? So we don't wanna go so high, we're hiking the hip. If you need to, stay back here a little bit, that's fine. As long as you can work on stabilizing your trunk, okay? Four foundations, meaning everything from our hips to our shoulders, okay? is our focus, and then building integrity throughout the rest of the limbs and the body from there. All right, here we go. So inhales, exhale, shift the hips back. Notice that I'm trying to keep my chest up, nice long spine, all right, and then bringing it forward. Inhale forward, exhale, push through those palms, use your upper back, use your abdomen, keeping the core stable, and then bring it forward. Let's go ahead and get one more. All the way back, hold. Sink a little bit deeper, bring it back to neutral. Awesome, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and flip it over onto our backs again, all right? Take a little bit of an active stretch at the hamstring, okay? So feet are flat, back into our neutral position, hip width apart, all right? All I wanna do here, okay? Keep one foot flat down, the other leg I'm gonna extend up to the ceiling, all right? Locking the knee out as best as I can. Your hands are gonna interlock behind the back of the knee or thigh, all right? Whatever you can reach. Sometimes if we need to crunch up out of this position, right? It's best to get a towel or a t-shirt, wrap it around so you can get your back flat, all right? But from here, okay, I just want you to hold it for a second. Check in with your breath. Roll the ankle out a little bit. Okay, flex it, gas pedal, pull it to the shins, rotate it, all right? Bring it back to neutral, so we're gonna take the toes to the shins, okay? I want you to pull the heel down to the butt, actively squeezing the back of the leg, so try to feel your hamstring turning on, all right? And then inhale. On the exhale, you're gonna use your quad, extend the leg, extend the knee, drive the heel to the ceiling, Finishing with a full lockout if you can. Inhale down. Exhale up. Really important to try to move with your breath, all right? Especially when we're doing some of this um, terminal range, all right? So really trying to find that end range of motion, okay? It can get kind of tense, all right? Really sharp, maybe a significant stretch, okay? Using your breath, helping the body relax to get that access. One more. Hold there, drive the heel down, maybe take one more little roll at the ankle, release the back of the knee, bring that foot back down, let's switch it to the other side. All right, so, gonna inhale, exhale, lengthen the leg all the way up, heel to the ceiling, play around with the toes and the ankles a little bit, feel what that may change in the stretch, down the leg, outside of the lower leg, inside the lower leg, down the back of the calf, here we go. Inhale, pull the heel to the shin. Exhale, extend the leg. One more. Let's get another one. All right, inhale all the way down, using the hamstring actively, extending through the quad actively. Last one, take a breath, roll it out. 
All right, release the hands, bring the feet back down. Okay, from here, we're going right back through into our dead bug position. Okay, so lower back is flat. Arms can start down, picking one foot up at a time. All right, making sure I'm keeping this space closed off. Open up the hips a little bit, get a little more width like you're squatting. Arms straight up, nice hard crunch. Here we go, inhale. Exhale, pull them together with integrity. Inhale. Two, we're getting nine. Three. Four, be honest with yourself here. Five. Six, three more. Seven. Eight, one more. Nine, and recover. Great work, here we go. Flipping it back over onto our hands and knees into our quadruped, all right? We're gonna now shift, um, shift it a little bit, okay? We're gonna change it up, a little variation, add a little more intensity, all right? So go ahead and get set up into your neutral, okay? Toes curled under again, all right? Go ahead and lift the knees off the ground, all right? We're trying to keep it as low as possible, just an inch off the ground. We're gonna inhale, pick up the left leg. Left foot, I mean, bending just at the knee, Exhale, put it back down, switch sides. Inhale, right foot. Exhale, back down. Inhale, left foot. Notice I'm still trying to keep everything where it started. Everything else is still aligned. Right foot. Two more. And rest, good. Shake it out if you need to, otherwise, we're going right into that inner thigh rocking, okay? So, left leg, out to the side, nice flat back, all right? Toes are curled under, here we go. Inhale, exhale, shift the hips back, keep the sternum nice and tall. Inhale forward, exhale back. Exhale back. And back to neutral. Shift in sides, here we go. All right, inhale, exhale, shift those hips back, nice long spine. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Last one, hold it, finish, empty the tank of air, and then bring it back to neutral. All right, let's flip it back over on our backs, okay? Want you guys go ahead and get set up, ready for those leg extensions. All right, go ahead and go at your own pace real quick, okay? I want you to do about three reps on both sides, all right? I'm just gonna get set up for our next uh, circuit here, okay? We're gonna be moving through these pretty quickly, all right? So, as you're going real quick, just a quick reminder, lower back is flat, trying to pull the shoulders down, all right? Exhaling as I'm extending the leg, inhaling as I'm pulling the heel down. Actively trying to find the hamstring, pull the heel to the butt. Actively trying to find the quad to extend the knee and find length in the back of the leg, okay? Get a couple more on each side, all right? Take a quick rest, okay? Get a sip of water, and we'll get set up to go for, uh, for our workouts, all right? So we got two different circuits, okay? Both are involving the squat pattern, all right? As we go through, especially the second second, uh, second circuit, all right, a little more intensity involved, okay? So just stay, uh, stay aware, all right, of what you may be feeling, your integrity and in your movement, okay, and how you feel as you're, as you're going through some of these exercises, all right? So everything that we do in our prep, all right, we're building off of that, all right? Creating layers, 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 layers of integrity, Starting from the center, moving out. So we're gonna go four exercises, two rounds, all right? So we're gonna start picking it up. We got about 30 minutes left, perfect time. All right, kick some butt here. It's Friday, I'm feeling good, I'm ready to work. All right, so we're gonna turn it on a little bit here. Now, this is the um, last iteration, okay, of this class, all right? So I'm gonna continue on with the core foundation series. All right, but what you're gonna see now moving forward after four weeks, a little more progressive work, okay? More variation, more complexity, 
um, moving in different planes of motion, adding more dynamic movement. All right, so if you haven't been following along, and this is maybe your first experience here with us, um, go to our website, check out some of the previous classes that we've done, okay? It gives you a chance to really build up some confidence, build up some consistency, um, and then just get familiar. Let the body and the brain get familiar with what it is that you're actually trying to accomplish. All right, so first and foremost, most important part. All right, let's go ahead. Two rounds, four exercises. First one, we're gonna get set up in a push-up position and we're gonna be doing some rocking, all right? So it's gonna look very similar to a squat in my lower half, all right? My upper half is trying to stay nice and stable. I'm working through the arms and the back, okay? So here we go, setting up in my push-up position, all right? My wrist just underneath my shoulders, okay? Maybe a little bit wider, chest over top of the wrist. I'm gonna kick one leg straight back, all right? Give yourself some width here. Now, again, like we did our dead bugs, I want you to try to find where that squat width is. All right, so it's an inhale. Exhale, as I exhale, I'm pushing my hips back towards my feet, hovering the knees like my beast hold, driving through my palms and my upper back, trying to get as much range as I can without losing that neutral spine. Inhale forward, exhale back. Hold the core tight, all right? So I'm pulling up and in on my pelvis, driving ribs down. Here we go. Four more. One more. Back to neutral. Let's go ahead and drop it down to the knees. Okay. I'm going to face forward for you guys. We're going to take a little bit of a stretch, a little bit of rotation here. All right, on one knee, my half kneel, stacking the joints, okay? And then train tracks this way, all right? So a couple of quick things we're gonna do here. Left hand comes to the inside of the left knee, whatever side you're starting on. Big inhale, reach that right arm up to the sky. And then I'm just folding over on my exhale. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, fold it over. Try to keep that lower half locked, really stable through the foot, stable through the hips. Inhale back to neutral. Exhale over. Now from here, I want you to see if you can keep your hips stable, peel the torso, peel the rib cage open, showing your chest, trying to look over your right shoulder. See if you can get a little bit more rotation. We're not cramming the front of the hips and diving down, all right? I'm really trying to stay stable. Bring it back down. Let's switch sides. Okay, here we go. Right arm inside of the right knee, left arm up, inhale. Exhale, fold it over. All right, this is for our hip flexors, quad stretch, lateral opener, so opening up some obliques, maybe in your back, little QL, getting some lat action in there. Inhale, exhale. All right, bring it back to neutral arm now. Try to spiral that rib cage open. Peeling the torso, rotating away from the front knee. Maybe a full breath, bring it back. Just challenging your balance, challenging your awareness, making you stay stable. All right, so we're gonna go into some shoulder taps now, everybody's favorite. So push up position. All right, we're gonna shoulder tap. Today, we're gonna alternate. We've been doing one side, okay? Today we're gonna alternate, we're gonna go six, 12 total, all right? So push up position with your feet. Give yourself the width, okay? It's gonna help you create the stability that you need. Want more challenge? Bring them closer. Here we go. Right arm, inhale. Exhale, bring it back down. Now we switch. Locking the glutes in, stay strong through your leg. All the foot and the big toe are really stable through the ground. Big palm. Try to listen to your body. Are you shifting out of it? All right, are you getting too much lateral movement? Lock it in. One more. And rest. Great work. All right, so a lot of core stability, a lot of torque stability. Also changing base of support so that we create more uh, stability with rotation in regards to rotation. 
but anti-rotation. Okay, here we go. We're gonna stand it up now. Get on our feet, we got squats. So we're gonna go nine reps, all right? Four second counts here, okay? So with your squats, I'm gonna hang off the mat here. All right, my feet just outside my hips. Toes can turn out slightly. Really ground yourself through those feet. Make sure you're connecting to the floor. In a squat, sorry. Feet should never be moving, all right? Always stable, it's the first point of contact. So if I lose stability at the floor, all right, ask yourself what may happen in the rest of the chain, okay? Efficiency leakage, lack of stability, lack of optimizing the movement, all right? Here we go. First one, arms out to the front, all right? Counterbalance for everyone. You can go across your chest if you feel like you're capable. Try to get a good full range, all right? Four seconds, here we go. And down, four, three, two, one, up four, three, two, one, and two, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Keep your pace. Three, two, one, one, two, three, four. All right, four more. Try to hear your own count. Two, two, three, four, one, two. There we go. Three more. Two, two, three, four, up. All right. Constant tension, no momentum here. Connect to your trunk, keeping the shoulders back, chest is tall. Last one. And all the way up, same tempo, and finish. Arms down, all right, shake it out. Arms can go up for counterbalance, okay? A lot of times we use that if we're not really sure that we have the trunk stability, we have trouble holding ourselves up. Also, ankles, hip mobility can play a role there too, but after doing those shoulder taps, you throw the arms here, or even here, you're gonna feel the shoulders burning too. Not a good work, all right. So, second round is the first circuit. Going back down into our rocking. Nine reps, okay? Hold yourself accountable here, okay? When we're doing these, all right? We're not moving loosey-goosey, okay? We're moving with integrity and intention, right? Feet out, okay? Nice and stable in the foot. Inhale, exhale as I shift my weight back. Let the knees bend. Try to stay low. Exhale forward, strong plank. Two. Three, four, five, keep the chest tall, six, seven, two more, those legs should be burning a little bit, one more, and finish. Ooh, baby. All right, let's bring it down. All right, we're spinning it around. Okay, going back to our half kneel. Left arm inside of the left knee, whatever side you started with. All right, inhale. Reach the arm up, exhale. Open it up. All right, we're lifting the rib cage up and over the hips. All right, if I'm here and slouching and not really pulling that length into the spine, Right? I'm only going to be able to get so far. Okay, I'm going to be cramming my all the tissue here in between the ribs and the hips, and I'm not going to get any length. I'm going to lift up out. All right, create intention of finding length through the hands. Let it travel all the way down to the leg. Bring it back. Spiral open for one breath. And right, try to look over the shoulder, keeping your balance. Bring it back down and switch. Little active recovery here, all right? Just a little bit, but also still super important to work on these things. The more you integrate some of the active recovery or, you know, active stretching or correctives into your actual workouts, you're gonna see an integration occur much quicker. Okay, so here we go.
Inhale. Right, so this is a good way to add variability to a workout. Give myself a chance to recover. Focus back on quality of breath. Maybe the intensity was really high on that last exercise. So give me a chance to bring it back and continue to work without just ramming my head through a wall, getting to the end of a workout, feeling like the quality isn't there anymore. All right, high plank shoulder taps. Here we go, push up position, alternating, all right? Six each side. Find your width. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inner thighs, they're squeezing together. Glutes are on. Quads are on. One more. And rest. Great job. Here we go. Standing it up. Back to our squats. We got 12. This time a two second count. A little more reps, okay? Still control. Find that control with your breath. Find that control with your tempo. Why don't you go ahead and try to cross those arms this time. Goes out, nice setup. Here we go. One 1,000, two 1,000. One 1,000, two 1,000. One, one, two. Two, one, two, three, four. Inhale down. Two second inhale. Two second exhale up. Connect those feet to the floor. Stay grounded through the big toe. Ball of the foot, the heel. Tripod, here we go. No shifting, the knees outside, all right? Traveling over top of the toes. Now forward, aligned over top. Three more. All about control here, all right? Taking responsibility, holding myself accountable for the things I do have control of. Using it as an opportunity to just get better. One day at a time, one more. And recover. Great work, everybody. All right. I think this is an opportunity to take a rest. Give it about a minute, 30 seconds. Get yourself some water. All right. Check in with yourself. So, as you're getting your sip, as you're recovering, all right, just pay attention to where you're at. All right. You got about 12, 13 minutes left. Okay. Listening to where you're at right now, all right? Intensity with this workout, okay? Should lie within your intention to actually pay attention to what it is you're doing and what your body's telling you to do, okay? Or what your body's telling you maybe you're ready for or not ready for, all right? Again, there's no comparison here. We're doing this so that we can explore and learn from ourselves, all right? Paying attention to the messages that my body sends to me, okay? getting in tune with some of those things that maybe on a regular basis, crazy day to day, world activities, stuff like that, right? That maybe just get overlooked or it happens so quick, I don't even catch them, all right? So again, opportunity to slow down and really focus on your integrity, all right? Your foundation, aligning with who you are, your breath, all right? Aligning your mind with your body, all right? And just taking that into accountability, okay? Perfect time to do so. So we're gonna go ahead and get into our second circuit, all right? We have three rounds of this, okay? So we're gonna be cruising through them. And again, four exercises. One, starting from the floor with a glute bridge and diagonal reach, okay? So rotation from the upper body, extension, hip extension from the lower body. And then we're gonna go squat holds. So a little bit of isometric holding down in the position, all right? Just a little bit of dynamic shift with the, with the uh, foot pickup. Then we're gonna go Spider-Man's. So again, push up position. Again, core foundations involves my trunk, not just the pretty ones here, okay? So Spider-Man's, we're gonna work the outside of the hip from that push-up. Uh, push and then we're doing our ice skaters, all right? So our dynamic lateral movement, dynamic stability, 
getting the heart rate up, giving you an opportunity to really crush it at the end of the workout. Feel really good. It's Friday. All right. Hope everybody's having a great week. I know I am. Okay. We'll finish this strong here together. So you're going to go down on your back. Okay. All the way down. All right. Flat back. Feet are hip width apart again. Back into this neutral position we've been preaching and talking about. All right. Arms. Upper arm is flat on the ground. Shoulders are back. Elbows are down. Wrists are stacked on top of my elbows. All right. And what I'm going to do is go into a glute bridge. And as I do so, I'm going to take my left arm, reach it across to the upper corner, right corner of the room, right? Really allowing myself to find some length here in the neck, in your traps, all right? Pulling the shoulder back to the front of the chest and the shoulder, and then bring it back down together. So as my arm touches, my hips lower. Inhale, exhale, reach to the other side now. Inhale down, really find that connection to the glute, squeeze it and reach. Two more. Last two. Last one. Extend through the hips, reach with the upper body, bring it back down to neutral. All right, let's go ahead and hop it up, all right? Just got some work in the hips. Now, let's stand it up, all right? Make them work vertically. So, you're gonna get down into that squat position. First step, arms back out in front of you, okay? Once you get as low as you feel comfortable, all right? So, not just an inch or two, all right? Use this as an opportunity to challenge yourself. Stay down. Here we go, one foot at a time. Up, and then switch, all right? Trying to stay straight, trying to keep my torso neutral, okay? So I'm really moving from the hip, the front of the hip, a little bit of the side of the hip, not too much of this side bend. So it doesn't want to look like this, all right? Trying to keep my core strong. Here we go. Six more each. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good, stand it up. Oh yeah, baby. All right, here we go. We're going back down to a push-up position. Standing up, back down. Standing up, great way to just add a little bit of cardiovascular work, a little bit of aerobic work. Keep yourself sweating, keep your heart rate up. Having to get up and down, right? One of the best exercises you, you can do. Here we go, push-up position now. Feet together, all right? Right knee is coming to the right shoulder. So inhale, one. Two, try to get the height. Three, so I rotate at the hip first, pull the knee forward, and then reverse it. Seven, eight, and nine, rest. Drop the knees, shake it out if you need to. Let's hit the other side. Here we go. Inhale, exhale. One, two, three, arms are strong, four, five, six, seven, last one, rest, Ooh, baby, all right, here we go. Getting set up for our ice skaters. All right, lateral movement. Start on one side, okay? Nice and strong in the footing. Bend in the knee. Other leg, kick in behind you. So, try to draw it down. Call this a drop lunge or a curtsy lunge. But from here, what I wanna do, get my arms opposite. So if my right foot's forward, my right arm is forward, or left arm is forward, sorry. Left leg back, right arm back. Driving off of this right foot, and then switching. Take it slow, keep it small to start. Just work on coordination. Back leg, the foot can come down to give you support. Doesn't have to go too wide, okay? If you feel like you can, maybe keep the foot off the ground, all right? Then look for width, and then look for depth and power. 
Here we go. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Back to center. Recover your breath. Few full breaths. Big inhales, big exhales. Round two. Here we go. Back down on the ground. All right. Glute bridge and reach. Six each side. Okay. Feet are hip width apart. Elbows bent. Lower back starts flat. Core engagement. Glutes ready to turn on. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale, reach. Inhale down. Exhale up. Squeeze those glutes at the top. So we're not moving through the lower back. Hips are neutral, at least for the most part, extended. And they're really reaching and rotating through my T-spine. Here we go. Two more. And rest. Ooh, baby. All right, we're going to Spider-Man's. Bringing it back to our push-up position. Catch your breath. Now's the time, as we're getting closer to the end, check in, all right? Am I worried about what I have coming up after this? Family phone call, friend phone call, dinner, all right? Excited for this to end, okay? Bring it back, all right? Try to build that awareness of when I let it go too far away from where I am in the present moment, bring it back, work on the things I can control, focus on the things that I do want, okay? Here we go. Push up position, Spider-Man, left side. Inhale, exhale. Five, six, three more. Seven, eight, and nine. Rest. Take a second. Instagram. All right, I think we're about to lose you guys. All right, thanks for coming. Thanks for following. We're here every day, Monday through Friday. Saturdays, we also have a class. So tomorrow morning, 11 o'clock, yoga class with Allison. Great class. All right. Thanks for coming, though. I'll see you guys next week. Here we go. Everybody else, right side. Also, feel free to finish. You got one more round after this. <laughs> Three, four, five, feel the outside of the hip, four, last one, and rest. Ooh, babe. You know what I realized? We just did those out of order. That's okay. All right? It's going to be fun doing your, uh, doing your, um, Ice skaters. All right, we're gonna hit these squats, then our ice skaters. We'll bring it back around the third round. Here we go. All right, arms out, squat it down, find your depth. Here we go. All right, ever so subtle. All right, being conscious of my weight. Where's my weight shifting? Am I controlling my stability in my trunk? Can I get lower? Three. Two. One. Rest. Oh, baby. All right. Let's hit our ice skaters. Start on the left side. Here we go. Opposite arm, opposite leg, and go. Inhale on transition. Exhale as you drive. Here we go. Four more. Three, two, and one. Ooh, rest, recover. I like that. We're working now. So your breath down, get a quick sip. All right, we're going back to our glute bridges. Last round here. Instagram, thanks for coming, guys.
see you next week. Keep working, girl. I know you're crushing it. Here we go. Glute bridges with our reach. Set up. Big breath in, big exhale. Let it go. Here we go. Back to center. Maybe toss. We're here to challenge. We don't want to make it so hard we can't do any of it. Or succeed. Just enough of the challenge. Okay. Gives us the results we're looking for, but also keeps it in a place that we can take ownership and responsibility for the quality. Last one. And rest. Here we go. Clean it up. Ooh, I am sweating today. Got the heat turned back up. Back up. Here we go. Find your squat position. All right, arms out or cross, okay? Let's go ahead and drop it down. Find your depth. Here we go. Stay connected to your breathing. Stay connected to your trunk. Chest is tall, shoulders are back. Pelvis, core is stable. Moving from the top of the hip. All right, hip flexors, a little bit outside of glute. Definitely inner thigh is working hard to stabilize. Three. Two, push a little bit further, and rest. Oh yeah, baby. All right, let's go down, push up position, Spider-Man. So we got our Spider-Man, and then we're gonna finish. All right, with our push up, right side first, check your breath. Set it, and let's go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ah, nine. Oh yeah. Check it out. Take a second. Wipe all that sweat off your face. Get back to work. Here we go. This time. We're peaking. Here we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoo! Slash set. It's a crusher. All right. Here's where I want you safely in control. Move a little more pace. Here we go. Ready, set, go. Start it out small. Find your rhythm. Then start to add a little width. Start to add a little more balance. One more depth. Here we go. Last five. Four. Three, pick it up. Use those arms. One. And rest. Let's get to neutral. Feet underneath your hips. Arms by your sides, all right? We'll bend it over, okay? We open up the lungs to get more air. We don't close them off. Arms are by your sides. Go ahead, find your breath. Probably coming through the mouth. Into the mouth, out to the mouth, that's okay. However, the quicker you can start to focus on how you're breathing, where you're breathing, the quicker you'll recover. The quick, the quicker you'll downregulate the nervous system after just exciting it, upregulating. Allow it to recover, allow it to settle down. And therefore, the breathing becomes more conscious. My heart rate starts to settle down. 
I begin to have this moment of clarity, being present with my breath. Inhales through your nose, exhales through your nose by now. Try to extend back to that four seconds in, four seconds out. All right, as you do so, okay, I want you to bring it down to a knee again. One knee. We're just going to give us one more stretch in the hip flexor and the quad as we finish up here. A little bit of a cool down. Normally on these days, all right, I like to get a lot of good work in, but also cool downs are so important. So, all right, if we're ever low on time or we're really crushing it towards the end, all right, one, we don't want to go from this type of intensity, this type of workout, straight to the couch, all right, straight to a seated position. All right, allow your body to come down naturally, but you're guiding it with intention through your breath. All right, really paying attention to where you work, what you worked, okay? All right, did I challenge myself today? All right, did I exceed my expectations? All right, maybe I was coming in with some kind of preconceived expectation, okay? Did I exceed them? Did I match them? All right. Are there areas of improvement? Okay, inhale, exhale, open it up. Do a little bit of rotation. At this point, hopefully your breathing is all through your nose. You're starting to notice a real shift in the body, real shift in the nervous system, in the mind. Switch the sides, all right? And going back to where we started, okay? Using this as an opportunity to discover what I'm capable of, what do I have control of? All right, and my challenge for you throughout the rest of the day, throughout the weekend, is at any time, if you've noticed or feel yourself wandering off down a path that isn't serving you well, whether it be I'm reading too much news or I'm seeing too many numbers that scare me, okay? I want you to challenge yourself, all right? Just for a moment, even if it's for 30 seconds, an hour, the rest of the day, the whole week, see if you can take your focus and maybe shift it to something that you do want or will serve you, all right? Something healthy, something maybe you've been working on, all right? Maybe something you've been too busy to tackle, even getting back to art or reading. Um, last night, signed up for another certification, precision nutrition certification. All right, something I had the opportunity, I started a couple of years ago and just never finished it, but uh, signed up for it last night. So today's day one, all right? That's my challenge for myself, shifting my focus to betterment, to growth, all right? Things that I have control of. Hopefully when you do that for yourself, it allows others to do the same, all right? So I know we're pushing the time here as always with me. Uh, it's something I'm working on, but I enjoy being with you guys so much. I enjoy doing this stuff here. All right, so we'll see you again next week. Same time, new programming. All right, so from here on until uh, next week, check out some of our classes that are already on our website. All right, check out some of the other instructors that are offering classes throughout the week. Something you may find and discover that you really enjoy or resonates with you. And I'll see you next week for more challenge, but always foundational work aligning with our true selves. Okay, so thanks for everything, guys. Thanks for coming. Any questions, all right, any feedback, email us, all right, DM, whatever it may be, all right. We look forward to hearing from you guys. Have a great weekend. Oh, yeah. Ooh, baby. Frankie, Mamba Squad, baby. Thanks for coming, kid.